Well, there are a lot of things that are special about the car. Um, perhaps one of the most special is its size. It's only a single seater and um, a true micro car and quite a lot smaller than the bubble cars of the 1950s. Uh, unusual features include the fact that there's a handle on the back so that if you find a small parking space, you can pick it up by the handle and just turn it round and um, pop it into the parking space. It's only got a single door. Um, it's got some quite clever technical features, um, such as the fuel tank, which is actually a fiberglass tank, which is integral with the fiberglass body of the car. The car is powered by a 50cc moped engine, a DKW engine made in Germany. It runs on um, a petrol and oil mix. It's got three forward speeds and no reverse. And one of the particularly interesting features about it is that because it's a single seater, it could be driven on L plates unaccompanied in the same way as a motorcycle could be. I believe during the period when they were produced, uh, they were driven every day by some people and in fact um, during the period when they were making them um, one of the um, people who worked at the Peel Engineering Factory in Peel lived in Castletown and he was driving it um, to work every day about 15 miles from Castletown to Peel um, going over the hills at Balamoda and sometimes even in the snow so they were usable every day, but um, I don't think really today's motorists would want to try to use one of them every day. And of course, obviously you feel very vulnerable in traffic due to the small size of the car. And the fact that um, you're looking up at the wheels of buses as you drive along. I find it fun to drive anyway. <laughs> but um, I don't know that some, some people would. It's certainly very different to drive. The performance is very limited. It's like 35 miles an hour downhill with a following wind if you didn't have too much lunch. And uh, really the performance is such that it doesn't really keep up with today's traffic. It was a very different thing in the early 1960s when the car was first made because there was so much less traffic on the roads then.